G'day, welcome back there, Fishing with the Boys fans. We're out on Mud Lake this morning, just me and Ferg out here nice and early. We uh, stocked up on a bunch of shiners yesterday because this whole shutdown, we don't know what's going to go on, so we wanted to be able to get out all winter break, so we bought, what, 50 shiners yesterday. Yeah. But we're out here chasing pike. We got, I don't know, big spread of tip up set up with a bunch of, I don't know, three to four inch shiners. Hopefully the flags start going off steady for you guys. We're out, we got out real early this morning. It was crazy. It was uh, pitch block out. We didn't know like if we were going to be able to make it out or not because we came and checked the lake yesterday and it was plus seven or eight yesterday and it got down to minus four overnight. And uh, what happened was we were walking out here with the spud this morning about an hour ago now. We didn't have all that much vision because we didn't bring flashlights. So we just had the cell phone lights going and we're spudding our way out and we're tiptoeing and there's a there's about an inch of water in between an inch of ice and then there's four inches of ice but at the shoreline there's barely any ice at all so Murph fell through this morning right down to his hips so he's soaked I don't know how he's not freezing right, but well, toughen through it for the for the boys you know we gotta right. catch some, there's fish to be caught out here so <laughs> yes sir but yeah I know so we got all our tip up set up right now Bradley and Sam might come out and join us later if not don't matter we're catching fish either way said I don't know how we've never filmed this yeah. is the this is our best lake like we always oh, yeah. basically what happens is we always want to go fishing blah 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 and then there's the one day where it's like you know what we went on this trip we didn't get all that much I just want a good day of pounding tip ups flag is going off and fish non-stop yeah, exactly. so we come to this lake that's exactly. the lake we go to any minute now we should have flags and bells going off like I said the iFish or iFish Pro Jesus Christ my ice sniper over there went off and it was like I said 14 15 16 inch little dinker pike but uh, it's a start. We got a fish on the ice already, and it's going to be a good day. It's windy out here, unfortunately, but yeah, so you can see here, set up over here, and we just got a solid spread all the way around. Kind of a big circle around the shack. If we decide to set down on bottom, there is bullhead in here. Yeah. They're not that big, but I mean, they're not that big in general around yeah, here. Yeah, they're not bad for around here. Yeah, they're really not that we bad. We caught some two pounders out here before. Yeah, the summer in the summertime we were yeah. jug lining. That's the video we had to take down. <laughs> there but, is crappy and perch out here yeah. too, but the pike usually clean them up, so there's usually yeah. not too many in here. But we have caught them out here before. Yeah, we will see. Uh, we'll probably get into a perch or two today. I'm sure. Yeah. They usually tend to bite kind of midday when everything else slows down, but the pike kind of constantly through the day are biting. And then there is the opportunity, like every, every once in a while a bass will come along. We're going to hopefully get into some nice four or five pound pike today though. Like nothing huge, but you know, around here we don't really get into yeah. anything that big. You know, like you can it's run into audio. Yeah. Either. Well, not in this lake. Yeah, yeah, this lake, like Murph said, the biggest pike's probably like six pounds. But like if you go out to Audi, there's like 10 pound pike oh, in the sure. lake or bigger. But we just, you know, it's, it's not something you see often. So when we get like a five pound pike, we're like tanker tanker it's not actually that big a pike i'm sure you are all like okay that's not that big but in our mind you know we don't see them that often so it's it's a bigger pike for us but today is our kind of the first start to our christmas yeah. holidays the fur like we had a, it, luckily it was cold enough last night to freeze everything that melted yeah except the shorelines obviously mark knows that better than anyone yeah. but <laughs> here, here here is it on yeah bites back on boys we're just getting there's three in a row here oh there we go Look at that, look at that. Nice fish. Just a little pike again. Nice. So we on. Just a little guy. Get him back. That's three bells in about three minutes right there. Yeah. Woo! Get another minnow. Oh! That's a nice one. A little small guy. That was cool. 
was cool. He was pulling, eh? Oh, yeah. You could see him way over there under the ice. Hopefully get into another bite here. I think it's just starting me, boy. I need some nice little one pound pipe. Sit him back. Oh, get the shark one. <laughs> Nice. Right on. How do you feel about that? Woo, boys. Plenty more to come, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Man, she goes off. Ferg just put this minnow down about, not even going to lie, 10 seconds ago. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Nice fish. Oh, Jesus. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh. Flyers? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Get lucky. Okay. Open it up. Open wide, yeah. Good girl. Ow, ow! Bad girl. <laughs> you open the mouse and I'll... Okay, we need flyers. I'll go get out. Run and grab the flyers, quick. I'm just gonna keep them in my pocket. Bigger, a little bigger than your last oh, one. Oh, my minute. Oh, he's gone. Gonzo. Check. A little better. This is what this lake's all about. It's literally just one of those days where you, you get home and you're just exhausted from running back and forth constantly. <sighs> getting Beautiful. a little bit bigger. We're getting there. Bye bye. Warm my hands up. You were just saying that too. I gotta warm my hands up. My your other rod's going, so you're not got you don't got time. That's some bullshit. <laughs> oh! That's what we live for. All right, boys. That's what you come out here for. That's what this lake's all about. Like we were saying earlier, literally, it's usually like walls of bites, but like like that's what four pike in the last literally seven five minutes. minutes. Not yeah. even shouldn't we've literally turned the GoPro on? We've turned, turned it, it off, off once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the lake we go to because it's literally just non-stop. You can't set your line up too far. Even those small pike, are, they, they put up quite a fight and they can pull your rod right down the hole. So you can't set up too far away and you set up two tip of each person or whatever and it's just running back and forth to each yeah, it's not, line yeah. all day long. Like Ferg said, it's not much of a trophy lake or anything, but it's just good fun, you know, get the bells ringing, everybody's running. It makes you feel like a kid again, you know, yeah. when your dad took you out ice fishing for pike and bells tiny little lake but, but it's just craziness but anyways we'll be back we got three rods put back in the water and we'll be going back at it in a few minutes so <laughs> there you go good one here real good one oh. this is a good one five pounder it's gonna wait on this one oh yeah oh yeah there we go on the friggin' tungsten. <laughs> Barely hooked. Just gonna get a weight on the shaft. Nice. And it was just peeling every which way. And we finally got it up. We went to the shack to put a weight on it. And my other rod was down the hole. So I'm running over with a pike in my hand. <laughs> Set it on the ice, reel up the other one, put it back down, and then go over and weigh this one. It was four pounds. And uh, we released it. And now we got another little quick break period but again, I only have one rod and now my other rod's sitting on the ice I gotta go put another minnow on it and we've only, it's only like nine o'clock 9 30 maybe like we got lots of fishing left to do so gonna put some more minnows on and keep doing what we're doing oh, there you go. <laughs> is it on yeah another little one what's that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You play? No, I shouldn't. Oh. Oh, Jesus, right on my rod. Oh, Jesus! 
Look at it coming here. Look at this. This thing. That's a good one. That's a good one. Here. Briggs got a good one. Better anyway. Oh, my freaking reels fall. Oh, yeah, way better. Oh, baby, I love this. Oh, my rod, my reel is falling off my rod right now. <laughs> Look at that under the ice. Nice fish, Frig. That's there's the size. Yeah, it's starting to get bigger now. Look at that. There's a better one right there. Yeah, two pounder. Yeah. Give or take. Getting bigger as we go. There we go. How'd that Woo! feel? That was awesome. I saw it just slowly going down. So I was like coming over with the camera. And I'm like, fuck, Murph's way over there. <laughs> so I pulled it up because it almost went down the hole. And I'm holding it here and filming. I'm like, burr, burr. We got her. We got her. We got her. Don't fall through the ice, kids. It sucks. <laughs> you got to tough through it, though, for the boys. <laughs> I think it's a perch. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Where's it there? Oh my. We come to Mud Lake. <laughs> look at that. And these players. That is a good one. Oh, Mud Lake. Go that for a second. I just want to get a. Hold it back straight up, okay? The thing about this lake is it's so shallow too, so like the fights don't last long. Like we're in what four feet of water here? Yeah, I think it varies from like three to four all over the lake. So like that was like what happened over there. That's why when I set the hook pole, it just came right up because there's only three feet of water over there. And then even in the summertime, 